What is up everybody? Today I'm reacting to 10 different YouTubers personal websites. Now, here's the thing. I haven't actually seen these websites yet. I, I researched it. I found their website. I put it in the address bar and I just made sure it loaded. I kind of like blurred my vision and just clicked off real quick. So we're going to be reacting to these websites together. Now, most of these YouTubers aren't actual designers. So this is obviously kind of like a lighthearted fun sort of thing. But I do want to know which YouTuber has the best website in your opinion. Let me know in the comments and let's get started. Make sure to subscribe though. Now, wait one moment. If you're interested in front end development, you may be interested in my new course at scrimba.com called From Figma to Code. This course is going to teach you all about how to take high fidelity mockups created by myself and make them a reality in the browser with HTML, CSS, and some JavaScript. If you've ever been handed a Figma file and weren't sure how to handle the HTML and CSS, this course is for you as I break down everything, starting with extremely simple examples and ending up with a fully responsive front end. So make sure you click the very top link here in the YouTube description to get access to my new course from Figma to Code, along with many others for a low monthly fee. Now let's get started. All right, very excited. Here are all the tabs. There's 10 different tabs up here with the YouTubers and their channels. And what we're gonna do now is I'm going to paste in their actual website address. So the first person here is Dennis Ivey, a personal friend. He's a coder. He specializes in Django, I believe. Um, I give him crap all the time, and I'm about to give him probably a little bit more crap once we check out his website, DennisIvey.com. <laughs> all right. I, I mean, actually, you know what? I remember seeing this before because I did a live stream with him where he's talking about his website, uh, and I was looking at it a little bit. Um, I'll be honest, when I scroll down, one thing I notice is things are just kind of, uh, you know, they're, they're, there's a white space here, they're kind of uneven, things are kind of going back and forth, like in and then out and then in and out. Um, but most importantly though, I mean, it's really simple. Listen, if you're not a designer, try to keep things as simple as possible. And this is pretty simple. And so for somebody like Dennis, who's you know ma mainly a, a coder or enti entirely a coder, uh, this actually isn't bad. I've seen aspiring designers try to whip, whip out all the bells and whistles and just overdo things with effects and stuff. And then it, it ends up looking so like something like, like a 10-year-old in 1999 designing their first website. So overall, not bad for Dennis. All right, next up, Dev Ed. We all know Dev Ed, coder slash UI UX designer. Uh, let's check his website out, developed by Ed. All right, so I believe, I, I remember him mentioning on a Discord server that he's used um, some sort of platform for courses. I forget what it's called, it's a popular one. Um, of course, this, this whole hero section style uh, it's kind of reminiscent of like the 2016s or something where you have a photograph of, or like that's a watermarked uh, and then you have centered text on top of it. But you know what? It works though. Um, but so this one, this is not something he created himself, I believe. This is based on some type of uh, store template where you just put in your picture or something like that. So that one's not too exciting. Let's continue on though with Traversy Media, uh, the juggernaut of YouTubers. Um, let's check out Traversy Media. Of course, tr Brad's not a uh, an actual designer uh, for the most part. Specializes in front end development and some back end stuff. Um, now, just taking a look at this. Um, so, just uh, to scroll down here. It, the, I, okay, I like this section a little bit more. Of course, it's kind of like the the previous one where we have a watermark photograph background. You can still read this, although it's a little bit difficult to read this, especially with type already like code in the background. Um, but coming down here, I would probably try to simplify these cards just a little bit. Uh, it looks a little bit like Christmas to me with the green and the red. Um, perhaps it's different when you, okay, yeah. So it's still, the, the cards are still a little bit cluttered, but you know, it's Brad Traversy. So anybody, you could he could just puke on his website and people would still just buy his courses anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Um, coming down here, I kind of like this section here. 142 million video views. I think I have like 42 million. So yeah. There's that, that's Brad. All right, next up is, oops, let's get back over here. Coder Coder, so I, she's one of the nicest people. Uh, we hang out in the Discord server and she's one of these creators, has 192,000 subscribers. Uh, of course, a coder. So let's check out her website, codercoder.com. Very simple. All right, wanna learn how to code? We've got tutorials and resources geared towards self-taught web developers. Check it out below. All right, so 
if you're not a designer, which I, I really don't know, I didn't research her if she's a, not a designer or not, like I said, keep things as simple as possible. And that's exactly what's happening here. So there, there's no issues in terms of readability, accessibility as it appears. Um, the, yeah, the, uh, the thumbnails here, you can read them, they're simple. Uh, they have nice little illustrations on them. The cards, not too bad. Maybe a little bit too much white space above here, but you know, for the most part, this is actually pretty solid for what I see. Next up is Kevin Powell. Okay, so my pal, Kevin Powell, uh, CSS expert. I think most of us pretty much know that. His channel has been exploding lately. Um, let's check out Kevin Powell's website. Hi, I'm Kevin. I teach people how to make the web and how to make it look good while they're at it. That's a very good headline. I talk about good headline ad copy all the time, and it's just I. Uh, this one's done quite well. He could have said, hi, I'm Kevin, I do CSS. Half of you would have done that out there and it would have been very boring, uh, boring rather. So yeah, overall, not too bad. Maybe a little bit more white space inside uh, this container and also around this text. It's a little bit jumbled up, but you know what? I'm splitting hairs here. Uh, and again, this is another very simple example uh, where there's a good white space all around pretty much. There's nothing too crazy happening. Uh, so overall, I like it for what it is. Very nice. Um, Web Dev Simplified. All right, Web Dev Simplified, 604,000 subscribers. Cut, covers a lot of uh, just front end development. So let's check this one out. All right, another example of something pretty simple um looking at this yeah there's no really logo it's just a simple uh hyperlink this gray right here i would like to see color in that you know um and ra rather than just a gray all right so what i like to do is change i uh, the color here we're going to grab a color that already well i for some reason it's not working it's not allowing me to choose this blue anyhow let's come over here manually in the hue selector come out to blue, and maybe we'll just come out here to like a, a desaturated blue or something like that, rather than just going gray like this. This way we're getting in the hue that's found in other areas of the user interface, and it just makes it a little bit more consistent in terms of color. Other than that, these uh, little cards with the, the thumbnails on the left, they're consistently designed. Also, this uh, section over here, very good in terms of typographic visual hierarchy, um, uh, white space, contrast all quite good the net ninja all right this is uh, another juggernaut of a youtuber who puts out a video essentially every single day sometimes two times a day um, so let's check out net ninja's website which is net ninja dot dev all right so this is an interesting layout probably one of the more unique ones that i've seen the most unique so far uh it's it's a fully fluid uh layout that expands all the way but it still works pretty well even on this large 4k resolution um learn about that uh net ninja pro all right looking at the cards here very good uh, price comparison sort of thing right here emphasizing one or the other yeah this is actually pretty solid i have to say nice 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 Coding phase, all right, coding phase, another YouTuber uh, coming up on 100,000 subscriber, subscribers, rather, and let's check out codingphase.com. All right, so another one of these approaches with the uh, the watermark background, but I do like the purple. I, I like that quite a bit. And one thing I don't really like is this this button here. I think we could, we could probably make that stand out a little bit more so. So I'm gonna do a solid one and we're gonna see if we can improve this, just this button really quickly. So background, that's the one thing I think I'm gonna do, what we want is maximum contrast from the uh, background that it's sitting on or near maximum contrast. So we could go white. Now look how much that sticks out now. Now, once we take this uh, color, which was white, we can actually, um, we'll just come around the purple because that's what this is found uh, on the rest of the site. We could take our font weight, we can bold that big time. Uh, we can increase the font size as well. So we'll do font size, maybe 1.5 rem, nah, 1.3 rem. And then maybe boost up the padding, which I'm not sure if that's already there in another property, but we'll try it anyways. Uh, all right, well he has some type of weird styling on there. We're gonna leave that off for now, but this is uh, what I've changed it to, and this is what was there before. It's kind of just like a, a dark kind of anti-pattern. You want your call to action to stand out. 
Having said that, everything else here is pretty solid. Uh, coming down, uh, actually pretty good um, thumbnails here in these cards, the way that they're designed. Yeah, this is actually cool. It's a lot of color here. Awesome stuff. All right, here is another one. Now this person, Adrian, actually, oh, 100K subscribers, just passed that yesterday, I believe, uh, is also a UX UI designer. So I'm interesting to see, interested to see what his website's gonna look like. All right, uh, it looks very, looks very simple. Um, one thing, it, it, when of course, this is this is me nitpicking. I'd like to see the container. I uh, have the same exact width. Uh, this kind of spread out over here, then over here, and then on the inside is this here. Now, mind you, sometimes these people, they're not uh, creating their own website from scratch or whatever, even though they can. I'm not sure if that's the case with Adrian, but for the actual articles and this, uh, the thumbnails, these are actually real solid. And it's actually, it's a very simple approach. So yeah, I actually like this as well. It's very easy to, uh, the, the article page is easy to read as well. Very cool. Uh, last but not least is going to be James Q. Quick. Coming up again, uh, almost 100,000 subscribers. Uh, let's check out James's website. He was scared because I told him I was doing this in the, this, the Discord. He said he hasn't uh, updated his website yet. But honestly, compared to the other ones, I really don't see like any type of massive deficiency. Um, a little interested on the, the letter uh, tracking here, uh, the letter spacing, a little bit extended. Um, but for the most part, I mean, yeah, this is real clean, real simple. I like the font. Uh, it's, it's probably Poppins, if I had to guess, which, which is my favorite font right now. All right, so I've just reacted to a bunch of other people's websites. Now, let's react to my website. The last time I updated it, I, I believe it was like in 2008. So we have to, we have to consider that. Gary Simon died that. Look at that. I'm the worst of all because I have not decided to update my website and I kind of just leave it there, you know, just as a reminder uh, of where I came from. Now, back then, this is actually pretty solid design. Notice how the container is so small because back then, resolutions on, on monitors, they weren't very large. Um, this is kind of just when um, the, the, the smartphones were coming out. Um, this is not responsive though. Yeah, so this has been a long time since I, I actually, I, look at this. This is, this is, yeah, that's not HTML. That's actual, um, those are pictures. Those are actual pictures. What was I thinking? And here is uh, designcourse.com. Of course, I put this little quick landing page up last year. Um, it's been almost a year. I've been collecting emails. Make sure you enter your email address to be notified when, uh, the new designcourse.com relaunches. And I'm gonna actually gonna show you a little sneak peek of uh, part of the landing page made in 3JS, which we'll be releasing here uh, real soon. And that is right here. So this is all 3JS. Um, I created this little model here in Blender. Um, I'm gonna probably have a secondary call to action here as well. But this is gonna be a long page ad copy um, in terms of the, the sales page to try to get people to join. Uh, and this is coming out very soon. I'm very excited. All right, everybody, hopefully you enjoyed that. Whose website did you like the most? Let me know in the comments what you thought about this. And also, make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. And I'll see you real soon. Goodbye.